In this video, we will learn how to create a process variable for any given process instance. Let's continue using the same example used on previous videos for an order management process and try to create an inject process variables as part of the process instance creation. Let's go to the REST APIs and do it. To create a process instance, we have a post workflow process instance. Here we can inject variables that are required in the context of the application. The process variables typically contain the application data, which is required to be available through the process execution. In this case, we can inject application information such as order number or product name. These can then be linked to the process instance ID that we will create. A process variable contains typically two data fields the name of the process variable and the value of that particular variable. There is additional information that can be provided, such as data type and scope. Let's now try to inject variables along with the process instance creation and see if the variables are associated properly. If we click the API to create a process instance along with the variables, we can now see the process instance has been created successfully and the process ID has been retrieved. Along with that, we see the variables which are linked to this process ID, such as order number and product name. We also see that, by default, the order number has been picked and resolved into the data type and the scope has also been attached as local. The second method we can follow to provide process variables for a process instance using a dedicated REST API on the process instance ID. Let's pick this process ID and select the Create Process Variable REST API from the menu. To create process variables, we need a post call to workflow slash v1 slash process instances followed by the process instance ID. Here we paste the process ID we used on the previous request instance. Then we will add a suffix call variables. This is the endpoint required to create process variables for a given process ID. Now let's create a variable such as order value, providing a value of 100. Let's execute this API call and another variable called order value will be created along with the existing process variables for the given process instance ID. Let's execute the API call and see if the process variable is created successfully. The status is 201, which means that the process variable has been created and we see the order value is indeed created and we also see the value provided. So that's it. This is how to create a process variable using a dedicated REST endpoint. For more information on this and other services, please go to developer.opentext.com.